in the past two seasons, Man United right back have been blessed with two very diverse right back whereby remain in their prime ages. First is the Portuguese international Diogo Dalot and another is the former England international Aaron Wan Bersaka. Dalot initially under Eritana first season particularly before the World Cup had been spectacular, seamlessly fit in the idea or tactical of Eritana flawlessly either tucked in as an inverted fullback or overlapping as a flying fullback. While Aaron Wan Bersaka was seen not going to be fit into the technical demanding from Dutch the manager. However, after the World Cup plus the injury to Dalot, Aaron Wan Bersaka took the chance and flourished, allowed himself to have one of the best turnaround seasons as a player. Coming to this season, even with the ups and downs, roller coaster ride along this season, many eyes of storyline lay on the likes of Hobi Menu, Rasmus Hoyland, and Garnacho. Although Dalot remained the peak of the packing order in fullbacks and gradually become one of the most important, yet he was sometimes overlook in the Man United team. So in this video, we'll have a slightly deeper look into how Dalo really involved his game in this season plus secure his first team right back spot. In case you didn't know, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Marvin codenamed CM. Welcome and welcome to the Code United channel once again. It has been some time since we really deep dive or really have a discussion on the footballing side or Man United in particular. If you in any shape or form stumble in this channel and somehow like this kind of content, do please like, share and subscribe to this channel as each of your precious subscription will be a massive motivation for me to upload new content. And don't forget to ring the notification bell for every new upload. With that said, let's get straight into the video. It's 2024. If me and you and how hardcore football fans, we know that the role of modern fullbacks in the football has undergone a significant evolution in recent years. Long gone the days where fullbacks were primarily tasked with defending and providing width on the flank, today's fullback were expected to play an increasingly important role in the attacking phase, while some teams even have their offensive creative output through their fullbacks. Peak Liverpool with Trent Alexander Arnold and Eddie Robertson, and right now we also see the rise of Sabi Alonso and his level cushion team. Both their fullbacks or wingbacks to be specific, Grimaldo and Fringpong, not just highly crucial in their offensive setup, but also deliver close to double digit in the goals and assists. In the meantime, when discussing regarding best right back or the fullbacks in general, we often discuss the likes of Hakimi, Alfonso Davis, Kawahao, Kylo Walker. Dalot often been overlooked due to lack of success from Man United in recent times. Thus, Dalot was not shown under the spotlight. But Diogo Dalo under Eritana management evolved into a prime example of a new breed of fullbacks. Till today, Dalo had represented almost all available matches for Man United, appeared in 33 matches, secured two spectacular goals, collect also collected three assists. Dalo only missed two matches in the Red Devil shirt, which was the opening Premier League match against Wolves and the two yellow into red against Liverpool, that the indirect suspension against West Ham. Throughout the matches, Dalo not just made himself available at all times, also proved himself as one of the important pieces for the Eritrean system. The first characteristic or positive brought by the former AC Milan Loni is his ability to play as an inverted fullback. Due to the increased emphasizing playing through the middle had been the meta or trend especially for top teams, a back 3 defensive line with one of the fullbacks shift to the midfield, becoming an inverted fullback had been a staple. Diogo Dalo under Eritrean system, instead of staying wide and providing the width on the flanks, he tends to cut inside and take more of a central role in the attacking phase of play. This allows him to create space for his teammate and link up with the midfield, as well as providing an additional attacking threat. This style of play is similar of that of Arsenal left back Zinchenko or the previous mentioned Trent Alexander Arnold, who has been credited for redefining the role of fullbacks in recent years. However, the edge for Dalo have above both players was that Dalo capable or comfortable inverted into the midfield from either a left back or the right back. Yes, due to the injury crisis within Man United, with their left back encountered the worst, Dalo whom used to play left back during the loan in AC Milan. Dalo had made 8 appearances as left back with great effect. Apart from that, Dalo in recent matches inverted so much he occasionally act as the holding midfielder tasked to be the outlet for receiving the ball straight from the goalkeeper Onana. As we can see the heat map, 
as a right back or an occasion left back, Dalot's main activity focused on the right hand side but gradually spent significant time in the midfield of the park. Besides that, Dalot possesses impressive technical ability, especially press resistance, being strong and unfazed when pressed by opponent, as Dalot only have 0.48 missed controls and 0.24 dispossessed of the ball, both of them sit above 90 percentile, highlighted his amazing ball control. This trade resulted Dalo have the second in touches and passes in the team just behind captain Bruno Fernandes. Following another characteristic was his improvement in quality offensive showcast. Dalo during the signing with Man United, he was seen as a potential attacking fullback, even praised by the former Man United manager Jose Mourinho, calling him the future Man United right back for 10 years. In spite of that, Dalo contained the ability to tuck into midfield to help out build up plays. He could also revert to a flying fullback, constantly overlapping to be an option for winger play through for the cross into the box, or underlapping to pull away defender, hence navigate space for the winger to attack. In addition, in Dalo earlier season or earlier in his career, had been criticized for having good offensive awareness but contain very poor or very bad crossing ability. But coming to this season, his amazing crossing either on a low or high cross had been a weapon that cannot be denied. Never forget that Garnacho's amazing overhead kick goal came from Dalo crossing, good or bad cross, you decide. Also Matomani winner header against Aston Villa came from Dalo picture perfect first time curving cross where we can see after Varane making a lofting pass to Menu with Menu marked by two defender and no option up front he turned the back allowed the ball just in front of Dalo and without hesitation Dalo whipped in a beautiful cross that with enough pace landed on Matomani head for the goal. Furthermore, Dalo can be the goal threat himself, particularly when it comes to a long range goal. This season, both goals came from long distance, whereby the goal again in Sheffield United was utterly impressive. The Portuguese caught the ball and with a single shift, rocketed it into the top corner. What a goal, we can say. On the other side of the pitch, earlier of Dalo career had been heavily skepticism on his defensive ability, in which surprisingly still continued to the recent seasons. No doubt Dalo in his early part with United does not possess high level of defensive ability, got easily beat by many wingers head on. But in recent two seasons, Dalo had greatly strengthened that department. In this season, he only has 0.5 dribble pass while also contains 71.4% dribbler tackle sit at 98 percentile, C solidified himself as a great defender. Besides, Dalo pace and athleticism help him to be a great defender, as he clocked the second fastest player in Man United team last season. He uses that to great effect, and against West Ham, Dalo's last ditch effort to block Bowen's shot, even a couple yards behind him, showcased his pace to burn. Another positive trait for Dalo was his great height. Standing 6 foot to 6 1, seeing him won 60.8% of the area duels sit at 88 percentiles made him effective in defending area duels. Despite many positives in Dalo being an amazing defensive fullback, he is still had lapses of defensive incompetence. For instance, against elite wingers, Dalo usually capable held himself but would often struggle massively. Also at times, Dalo do have the tendency to lose his focus when defending. The goal against Galat Asteroid was the best example. So, speaking in the Man United shirt, Dalo had really seen himself be a prominent role due to his well-rounded, versatile and technical process. Although, Dalo can be described a jack of all trade fullbacks, being attacking one but not on the likes of Fringpong and Hakimi, solid to elite defensive ability but not as wide coverage as Car Walker, whereby made him underrated at times yet his all around skill set made him very valuable, most likely a sought after target. It wasn't him playing for the Red Devils. Furthermore, Diogo Dalo's performance on the field show a rare case thanks to Jose Mourinho's eye for a talent caught up to the footballing trend and at the same time made a new reality for fullbacks in the modern game. With more and more teams looking to adopt a more attacking style of football, the role of fullbacks has become increasingly important in creating and even finishing attacks. It's a great thing to see that Dalo is following the footsteps with the likes of Robertson and Alexander-Arnold as well as adapting to new contexts and ideas in football 
and it is increasing experience and developing under Eric Ten Hag, it is clear that he will only continue to improve and be a vital part of Man United's future success. That's the end of the video. What do you guys think? What's your take on Diogo Dalo's recent two seasons? Is he underrated, overrated, or just perfectly rated in your books? Comment down below so that we can have a discussion. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one.